five things you should silence to get closer to the Lord in this season. Music that is of the world or secular music. Um, secular music is just anything that doesn't worship the Lord. Um, so putting that aside and silencing that for a season. Silencing some of your favorite TV shows. I know, but right now you need to hear from the Lord. So bring it on in and silence those voices and silence that influence that that TV show may have on you. Um, the third thing you may need to silence is friends, family, and outside voices. There are seasons where God wants you to come in and hear his voice more clearly. And for you to do so, you may have to out silence the outside voices or the outside advice from other people um, that God has not sent you to to get advice from. The fourth thing you may need to silence um, is your own thoughts, taking them captive, the thoughts that go against the word of God, the thoughts that are negative, the thoughts that don't produce good fruit. Silence those thoughts and how to do it is to meditate on the word and taking captive. When a negative thought comes, ask yourself, is this from God? Does it glorify God? Is it worthy? Is it the truth about me? Is it the truth about God? Is it the truth about this situation? Um, and does it produce good fruit for me to think on this thing? The last thing that you may need to silence is your emotions. I know that sounds crazy. I'm not asking you to act as if things do not hurt you. But sometimes God will ask you to make choices that go against how you feel in the moment. And if your emotions are going to lead you to, into everything and be the deciding factor, if you're going to do or obey the thing that God is asking you to do, you need to silence it because it may very well take you out of the position of faith and promise that God has you heading into. So silence those things for a season because God is trying to speak to you. He wants to give you clear and specific instructions and for him to do that, silence.